Welcome back to the channel, welcome to this week's video. Today we're going to tackle the floor. Let me just show you what we're going to use to build up the subfloor in our crafter. So firstly we need something to, to sit the flooring on and I'm going to use some aluminium box section. Now this stuff is, is really lightweight, that's why I chose it and very strong and even when I double it up it's still lighter than using just bits of wood. Also obviously very moisture resistant. If we have moisture problem like a flood or something in, in the van then at least these aren't going to rot. So how are we going to fix that aluminium to the floor? I'm using a product called Terrison MS939. This stuff is super strong. Basically once this glue goes off Nothing's going to pull that aluminium out. We have to be pretty sure that we're in the right spots and uh, get this glue down and, and get it stuck in. The next part of the floor is the actual floor itself. And we're just using plywood. So pretty simple. This is treated ply. It's 10 mil ply. So still pretty lightweight, but also allows for us to be able to fix anything to it. And I've already, as you can see, already scribed it and cut it out. For the floor, there's three bits there. But I'm going to fix that plywood in just by screwing it with some self-tapping screws into the aluminium. By screwing it in, that allows us to be able to unscrew it and pull it back out. I'm not going to glue it in the early stages. I may choose to glue it once we're uh, further down the track with the furniture in. So you can see I've already cut and laid out the aluminium on the floor and the way I've laid it out allows for the least amount of material to use but also allows for some strength for the floor to bond to or to screw into and reduces the amount of flex that that plywood would have. So what I'm going to do now is take it all back out again, give the floor a wipe down and a clean with some alcohol just to make sure there's nothing uh, left on there and then we're going to start sticking it down. First part of the floor is down. I'll move on to the next part which is the middle bit which I've moved to taking the aluminium out just to give it a bit of a clean and just place it back in nicely. The, the last part, the forward part of the cabin, I'm going to have to leave a little, some of the aluminium struts I'm going to have to leave loose just while we work out how we're installing the rear passenger seats because they'll end up probably over where that strut is that will be in the way. So I'm just going to not stick those ones down and the bearers either side but I'll stick the ones at the front down so we do have a little bit of structure there and something we can just put the floor on while we work that out in the meantime. Fast forward, I've done a few things with the floor. I've actually filled up some of the holes that were part of the original floor and you can see that I've just siliconed them and put some new bolts in there. I put these packers in on the edges of the aluminium just to stop the flex uh, right on the extremities where there's no ridge holding them up. Part of the floor that's going down is the insulation that's going into it. I'm using a product called Green Stuff, which is this here. See, it's green and it's some stuff. And it's actually made out of PET bottles, recycled bottles, like recycled water bottles. And it's really, really easy to handle. It doesn't itch when you do this. And more importantly, because it's plastic, it's, it's moisture resistant. So it doesn't take on any moisture at all. So you can put it down straight onto the floor and we'll just have a bit of aluminium tape over the top just to keep it in place and to plug any, any gaps and then we won't have any worries about 
um, any any rotting or anything like that from moisture getting into it if it gets into it. It is really easy to, to handle, so you can just cut it with a Stanley knife and then it tears apart easily. And I'm actually tearing these bats into two to fit so the, the R value, I guess, is diminished because of that, but it's still gonna be pretty, pretty well insulated in comparison to a normal van four. So I'm just gonna start putting it down and then we're gonna mark the screw holes. I'm gonna put the floor back in. There are gonna be a couple of loose joists, like we've talked about previously because of the, the passenger seat that needs to go in. But I'm still gonna screw those off. And so the floor will be sort of mostly stuck down so then we can move forward with building all the cabinetry and all that sort of stuff around it. And that also makes it easier to, for me to take out when we need to put that passenger seat in. I can just unscrew it all and pull it off. I have a little helper today. So say hi, Mills. Hi. What have you done so far? Vacuumed all the squares of uh, mm, She's, yeah, she's vacuumed all the dust and stuff out of these just so we can put the green stuff in and then put the floor down. Floor is down, mostly screwed off except for the forward portion of it which will leave unscrewed just for easy access for those seats again. That's another job ticked off the list. So keep watching, make sure you've liked and subscribed. Most of you are watching this and not subscribed so please just check that button because next week we're cutting some holes in the van, getting some windows in and getting the, the Max fan in as well. So we'll see you in the next one.